Hello and welcome to my 13th video lesson in using Blender 2.6. Today I'm going to be covering adding bones to a character mesh. Um, so without further ado, this is a quick character that I made before starting this video. Um, and if you're not sure how to make a character like this, um, you can take a look at some of my previous videos, uh, specifically my tutorial number 6, Box Modeling 101, in which I show you how to model a head of a character and my fifth video called Edit, Extrude, and Loop Cuts. Those two videos, along with the video 7, the Mirror Modifier video, will show you exactly how I made this character. Um, so this character, basically I started with a cube, I modeled the head, and then I extruded the body down and the arms and the legs out, and I did some pushing and pulling to round out the character. I applied a subsurf modifier, but I'll get rid of that for now, and I'll show you what the faces actually look like. So. This is what the model actually looked like, it, um, and it has a mirror modifier on it. So if I get rid of this mirror modifier, which you of course would add under the wrench, that's what my mesh actually looks like. I only had to model half of it because I use a mirror modifier, and that lets me kind of copy both sides as I want, or it copies both sides automatically. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that mirror modifier. So now I have one solid mesh, and I'm going to go ahead and save this as man03. I kind of made a few iterations as I was making that file. And I'm going to add a armature, a skeleton, for my character. So it's important to note that I modeled my character and I never moved, or I started it from a cube, and I never moved it left or right or backwards and forwards or really up and down even. Um, but it's important that it's exactly on the x-axis. Um, so it's not too far to the left or too far to the right, it's exactly in the middle. It's also important that your 3D cursor is in the middle, so if I put it over there, I could just press Shift C, and that would center my 3D cursor. I'm actually going to show you what keys I'm pressing. There we go. And N. There we go. So now you can see what key and what mouse buttons I'm pressing. So I press Shift C, and that centered my cursor. And I'm going to add, so I'll press Shift A, and an armature and a single bone. And that's what a bone looks like. Um, it has a few parts, so if we press Tab, we can get into edit mode for that bone with that bone selected. It's got a main bone section, and it has a tail, and it has a head. If you watched my parent-child video, uh, where I connected different parts of a snowman, I believe that was, let's just figure out what that was. That was my 11th video, joining and parenting, or joining and linking, rather. Uh, I showed you how to link different parts of a, a snowman model using primitive shapes so that you could animate the entire thing. Um, same principle works with bones. You're going to have bones that are children of other bones, and you're making a hierarchical structure of bones, so that kind of like fingers would be a ch or, or all be children of the hand bone, and the hand bone would be, uh, it's kind of like the song, the hand bone would be connected to the uh, lower arm bone, etc. Um, and the master parent will be the pelvis. So we're going to go ahead and go ahead and make the spine and the pelvis now. So I'm going to drag that bone straight up, and we want to turn on X-ray mode. Now over here in Properties window, we've got three new tabs because we have a bone selected. We've got the object data, which looks like a, um, a person, and a bone tab, and a, bo and a bone constraints tab. So I'm going to go into the um, object data tab, the one that looks like a person, and click on X-ray. And that's going to let us see the bone through the mesh, and that's really handy for when we're looking at it. We don't want to have to go into wireframe mode all the time, uh, so that's a really handy tool. So I'm going to go ahead and put the bone in the right spot, and now I'm going to go into edit mode and drag the tail of the bone, that the sphere at the end of the bone, up to be right at the base of the neck, right about there is fine. And I'm going to select that bone and press W to subdivide. So I'll select subdivide after pressing W, and we're going to make three sections, so we'll make the number of cuts two, and the top section is going to be the rib cage essentially, and the bottom section is going to be essentially the pelvic bone. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and extrude this top um, tail of the uh, rib cage bone, so I'll press E, and that makes a children, or child bone, of the uh, uh, rib cage bone. So when you extrude from the tail, uh, it makes a child, so I'm going to press Z to extrude up and click right about there. So now we kind of have children. This is the pelvis, this original bone, which is at the head of our original spine, is the master parent, which if I drag that one only, it would move the rest of them. 
Um, the spine bone is a, um, uh, or the middle spine is a child of the pelvis, and the uh, rib cage is a child of the um, spine. And this all happens automatically. We don't have to actually create parent-child relationships with bones necessarily. So I'm going to press E and Z to extrude a head up. And I'll put the point right about at the top of the head. And now we'll extrude some um, arms. Actually, we'll extrude some shoulders first. So I'm going to select the tail of the neck, and I'm going to press E. And I'll press X to go out kind of on the X axis where I want to go. And I'm going to do two at once. So I'm going to press E, then X, and extrude out. But actually what I'll do is I'll press E to extrude, then press X. And then I'm going to press 0 0.5. That'll extrude it exactly 0 0.5 blender units out. And so I'll do the same thing over here. I'll press E, X, negative 0 0.5. Now that looks different. What did I do? Did I do 0 0.4? E, X, negative 0 0.4. No, what did I do over this, over there? E, X, 0 0.5. Maybe my mesh isn't centered. It looks like it. E, X, negative 0 0.5. Maybe that, that's just an illusion. Maybe it's just me. So now I'm going to select both of the tails and move them down to kind of the center. And I'm going to press S and then X to scale those two uh, tails inward. And my computer's just kind of hanging a little bit there. Maybe I'll press... Yeah, okay, let's try again. S, X. And I'm going to put those... Uh, tail spheres right at the kind of uh, socket where the shoulder sockets would be. So now I'm going to press E to extrude, but we're going to do both at the same time. And I'm going to right click to let go. And now we're going to scale. So S on the X axis. So I'll press X. And now, oops, they're going the wrong way. There we go. So I'll extrude all the way out to the end of the hand, right about there. And I'm going to select each one and press W and subdivide. And we're going to make two cuts, one for the hand, one for the lower arm, and one for the um, upper arm. And I'll do the same thing over here, W, subdivide, and turn that up to two. And I'm going to grab the tail, or the head actually, of the hands and press SX to bring that bone exactly where it should go. Maybe I'll look at this from the top so I can get a better idea. I'm going to hide my tool shelf. SX right about there. Maybe that forearm is a little bit too big, so I'll go SX and scale out a little bit. And that looks okay. I'll do the same thing with the pelvic bone. So S or E, then X, 0 0.4. Let's try that. Same thing with this one. So I'll E, X, negative 0 0.4. And I'm going to move maybe both of these in a little bit. So SX. Let's go right in the middle there, and up a little bit, and I'm going to extrude them down, so E, Z. And maybe I want them to be a little bit farther apart, so I'll go S, then X, and kind of move my mouse out a little bit, and there we go. Let's subdivide these, so W, subdivide, and I don't need my tool shelf open for this one because I only want two sections, so one cut, subdivide. And I'll move the knees up a little bit. That looks pretty good. And I'll select both of the tails where the ankles would be. And I'll go to my side view and extrude on the y-axis. And so this is a very, very, very simple character mesh. And it's important to know that the pelvis is the parent of all the rest of these. Um, we'll get into that when we learn how to animate a uh, character rig. So right now we're in edit mode of this mesh, and while we're still here, I'm actually going to name a few of my bones. You would want to go through and name all of your bones, but I'll show you how to do just a few. So I'm going to select the head bone, and now I'm going to go over to my bone tab. Um, and this is where the name is. The bone by default is bone.004 in my model, but I'm going to change that to head. And let's try pelvis for the pelvis. And when you're naming left and right things, the kind of uh, industry standard for this, at least in Blender, is to name it something dot R and something dot L. 
And this over here is actually the character's right side, because if you were him, that would be your right shoulder. So I'm going to name that shoulder dot R, capital R, and this one is going to be shoulder dot left, or dot L. And I, I could go ahead and name all of these upper arm dot R, lower arm dot R, hand dot R, and then all the rest of them. Uh, but I'm not going to go there because I don't want this video to be too long. So I'm going to press tab to go back into object mode on my um, armature. And I'm going to select, now I'm going to make the mesh, which should be merged now. There's no mirror modifier anymore. I'm going to go ahead and save. Um, we're going to make that mesh a child of the armature. So the armature will be a parent of the mesh. So when we grab the armature, the mesh will follow. Um, except when you do uh, make an armature a parent, you have the option to set weights. So in other words, this mesh, uh, with all of its vertices, you can make different groups of vertices um, children of different bones. So when I move the hand bone, if the hand is a parent of only the vertices that are around the hand, that hand will bend independently of the rest of the body. Same thing with the rest of the bones. We want all the vertices in the head to be only children of the head. And this is actually quite easy to do, uh, at least initially. So I'm going to select the, I'll press A to select all, Select the mesh, then hold shift and right click the armature. And that might be a little bit tricky uh, because the armature is inside the mesh. And I'm going to press control P. And I'm going to set parent with automatic weights. And what that will do is it will automatically determine which bones affect which vertices. So I'll select that. And now if I press A to deselect all and select my armature, there we go. There is a new mode. We know about object mode. We know about edit mode. For bones, there is a mode called pose mode. And if Blender catches up to me, there we go. I can select pose mode with my mesh, with, with my armature selected. And now if I move a bone or rotate it, it will affect my mesh. So this is how you add an armature to a mesh. Now I could go and add a timeline. And in pose mode, I could actually animate my um, my mesh. So I'll turn this window into a timeline. I'll turn on recording. And with my um, my playhead at zero, maybe what I'll do is I'll make him kind of walk, um, shake his head. So maybe I'll press R and then Z. And that'll rotate on the Z axis. Now it's twisting kind of funny, but um, so be it. That's because of our, our model. I'll go a little bit further and press R, Z, go the opposite way. So I'll make two keyframes, and as you can see, he is shaking his head. So I'll go a little bit further, maybe, and R, Z, go the other way, so he's actually going to shake. And one more time, R, Z, and go the other way. Now I have an animation of him um, shaking his head. So this is just a very brief introduction to making an armature and making a rig uh, for a character. I will make for, for uh, videos in the future. Um, so thanks for watching, and I, hope, I wish you good luck.